Vital statistics of Coldez, six kilometers, 7.6%, and the pace now still being set by the green jersey. Roglic leads, 44 seconds his advantage on Simon Yates. Martinez at 58. Quintana starts to up the pace. Simon Yates, tongue just to the side of his mouth there. 4.4 kilometers to go. And here is the first little attack from the Colombian. Nara Quintana starts to up the tempo just a little bit more. Simon Yates, little acceleration, little test. And he goes, Quintana tries to go. Roglic is unable to go with this acceleration. Simon Yates jumps away and Roglic is in all sorts of trouble. Simon Yates now starts to put the hurt on, on the climb, 3,800 metres to go to the top. Wav Van Aert can do nothing and Roglic is unable to respond. Roglic is unable to do anything about this at the moment. Now there is more respite for Primoz Roglic, but it's around about a few hundred metres away yet. And Wout van Aert trying to lead Roglic up this climb, Roglic is unable to stay on the wheel. This is incredible. I can't believe I'm watching this again. Yates now is on this fast section. Now it will ease out. And then it's ramping up all the way to the finish of the Coldez and then the fast descent. Now Roglic is a fast descender. Yates can take the time that he needs. He needs 44 seconds. He needs the 10 second time bonus and a few more seconds over Roglic who could take six seconds, remember. Simon Yates over the top of Coldez. The final climb is done. Now it's all about the descent over the top of cold airs for the green jersey and the yellow 25 seconds we're told wow van art is bringing this back steadily for jumbo visma the rider in the green jersey is the main man the one you would want at this point in the race a rider who will never panic could be that van art could win the stage here five kilometers to go They are not too far behind now, are they? Look at this. They've timed this to absolute perfection. Paris-Nice is going to be his. The question is now the stage victory. Simon Yates attacked on the Coldez. He doesn't manage to win Paris-Nice, but it's an Englishman who wins on the Promenade des Anglais. Simon Yates wins the final stage for Bike Exchange. Jayco, his first win of the season. Behind him, just a few seconds back, the man of the day is Wout van Aert. Primoz Roglic wins Paris-Nice. That was an all-out effort by Simon Yates to win the stage. The man of the day, as far as attacks are concerned, is Simon Yates. His fourth stage win in Paris-Nice. Here's the rundown of the top 10 of today's stage. Simon Yates wins the stage uh, nine seconds ahead of Wout van Aert and Primoz Roglic. The gap behind 144 to Brandon McNulty. That's how Paris-Nice finishes for the 80th edition. Primoz Roglic wins 29 seconds ahead of Simon Yates. Danny Martinez in third at two minutes 37.